Come on over. I'll show you guys what's going on. See that eye cancer? So we're gonna save her eye. Let me try. And the jugular in that furrow. Make it big. See it big. See, so watch it fall. Mm -hmm. You wanna give it? I think it. Hold off. Just trim it down. Transverse. Like push right through. Pull back to get a flash of blood. Pull, give half. Pull back. Give the rest. Pull back. Yep. I use like the karate. The karate. Cause then it's, it, you know, and sometimes I put that against my knee to give me a bit of thing up and pull back there. Oh, Jeezy's better than you! I reckon. <laughs> also, I'm sorry. <laughs> well, I missed it there on the back end. But. So, you, what you've done there is that jugger's about that big. You've popped all the way through yeah. to the other side, which could go in the car. If you go in the car, they go <laughs> and then they fall over. So, um, hop in, don't go quite so deep, but then like come back and then if you want to, you can throw it down the van. Uh, okay. Stuff, but yeah, cool. If you get it in, you go transversely. But then, but then, oh, then you back up and throw it up. And then you pull back to make sure you're in the right spot. So it wouldn't just in place it's about that big. So you pull it down. That's why it was pulling back. But anyway, it'll do the job. Especially for this procedure that we've got here. Okay, so then we got our ligny things. Yeah. Yeah. And our big syringe. We love ligny thing. Yeah, we we'll use the same box. <laughs> I haven't done one of these in a long time. This popped out the eye. It's pretty cool when it works. You like it. I need a clean, a new scalpel if I could. Yep. Brother, thank you. So I'm just getting in behind the eye. I kind of push the eye out of the way, Chloe, with my thumb. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of aiming for back in there behind the behind the orbit, like back where that yeah. where the optic nerve is. I was saying, John Ellie, I use my thumb to kind of push the eye out of the way. Yeah. Um, I used to use really long needles, but I find this works pretty good. That's pretty cool, huh? Aww. Oh, she popped her back in. Cut that scalpel. Cool, eh? Can't see a little bit of cancer. Drop in the mud. But... In veterinary world, we call this mud. We all know what it really is. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, darling. Cool. We'll give her a little bit of. Um, we'll give her a little dose of meloxicam as well, just to make her feel better. Check that out, brother. Smooth light. Yeah, that was popped off. Oh, yeah. So, oh, hey. 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 per hundred so twelve and a half will do.
Nifty, hey? Is that cool? <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> All right, so now it's question time. Yeah. You gotta. Well, it's you gotta ask a question as you're giving shot. Just under the skin there, and I come from the side and go over the neck. And over the neck. <coughs> More forward, like where the all the thing anyone wants to eat is. You can do it with one hand. Uh, come in one handed. Pop through the skin mm. and then just kind of relax and then just give it one hand. Yeah. You less likely to hurt yourself. Your skin's like leather, so come in a little bit more of an angle. Because Matt hurt himself, he hurt himself when you were here last time, wouldn't he? Put his hand to it. Yeah, yeah. Because he was really rich a bit later, didn't he? Yeah. Oh, nice. I like Scam Angel. Yeah, it's quick. Dispensing pain relief. Okay, so you both have to have a question on camera. So, Chloe, what question do you have? I have a question. Oh, you do? You've always got questions, man. Jonathan's like a champion question. Uh, so, how do you decide when to when to do this oh. and when to inoculate the eye? Like, okay. what is so the, the cutoff? Well, that one had a, had a, was like a kind of cauliflower, so it had like a, a large surface, but it had like a tiny little pedicle. So, that one was a straightforward, really easy one to do. Um, if it's more invasive in the eye, then if the eye looks like it's compromised, like her eye looked pretty good. And I take it, if it's in the third eyelid, it's, I just take the third eyelid out. But that last one we did was really invasive behind the eye, so it's got to go. But when um, they go, they go really quickly, yeah. 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 Like, um, yeah, yeah. Does that answer your question mostly? Definitely. And your question? So does the cancer eye will come back? Conceivably, yeah. <laughs> um, it's mostly the genetics of the Herefords that cut right into Australia. Um, I remember the one we saw this morning was black over both eyes and still had cancer. So we're, we're kind of getting away from it by breeding away from it, which is good. Initially, we just thought, well, it's bad luck. But now we realize that it's something you can breed away from. And, and, um, and so now you got to ask Paul how he's breeding away from it. So he'll tell you about semicolons and all sorts of stuff. Well, we're just, um, all, we're, all our bulls are 100% pigmented in the eye. So there's no white eyes anymore, so, uh, which is, reduces the fact. We're getting fewer and fewer, aren't we? Yeah. yeah. Well, I don't know, I don't know. Mm -hmm. the other cows and only getting a dozen a year, so... Mm -hmm. yeah, pretty, pretty we're making really. progress. Mm -hmm. In another 10 years, when we're getting prettier, they'll, uh, <laughs> they'll probably won't be doing any more. <laughs> awesome. All right, love. Well, how'd you go, Chucky? Let's have a beer. Yeah. <laughs>